More than two decades have passed since the body of an unknown woman was found floating in a popular East Tennessee lake. Despite efforts throughout the years, that Jane Doe is still unknown and no answers into how she died. Tonight, 10 News anchor Leslie Ackerson takes us to Oak Ridge for Appalachian Unsolved. Spanning more than 5,000 acres, Melton Hill Lake calls to fishermen and boaters alike. But for criminals, the expansive waterway offers a place of disposal. We got the call March the 6th, 2000. A couple fishermen had been fishing on Melton Lake. If my memory serves me right, one of them had casted and got his lure stuck, so they went over towards shore to free the lure and then saw the body in the water. 22 years ago, Captain Mike Ewer pulled her from the water. It's one of the things you can't forget. Uh, we found her nude. She had been floating in the water face down. A young woman, her face barely recognizable. She was already gathering algae and silt from floating in the water, moss, you know, those types of things were starting to grow on her already. Her hair had almost all fallen out. The lady in the lake, as she came to be known, Police used her skull to create renderings of what she might have looked like, hoping this face would resonate with someone. Medium length, brown hair, probably around 30 years of age. She had good teeth. She had had crowns done and a root canal done. Her tooth next to her eye tooth kind of stuck out just a little bit and covered her front tooth just a little bit. It was very distinctive and it's something I just remember. She had no scars, no marks, no tattoos, had no jewelry. She had no watch. She was, there was nothing on her body. It was just her. Found with nothing, you were leans towards murder. Probably drowned, held underwater. Mm -hmm. Believed to be floating in the lake for weeks, the water both preserved and decomposed the body at once, washing away any bodily evidence that might link to her killer. Being waterlogged, you cannot do toxicology. Uh, also, it affects any type of sexual trauma, things like that. All of that's washed away from three weeks in the water. Investigators don't believe she was local, but a drifter passing through. They tracked her last steps to a truck stop off Watt Road. The stomach contents were the exact same thing that they served for dinner there. 22 years later, her identity still remains a mystery, as does how she got here. Over the 22 years that it's been, we have fielded at least a thousand calls. Uh, I have fielded hundreds of them myself, where loved ones are calling, trying to identify if this may be their daughter, their sister, their sibling. Uh, unfortunately, we've not been able to identify who she is, but I do know she has a mother and father somewhere. As the years tick by, he's still determined to close this case and give the Lady of the Lake a proper name. Being a father and a grandfather, uh, not just a policeman, I'm a human being, so was she. That, that poor woman died there and somebody needs to know it. In Oak Ridge, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. That case has been entered into a number of databases for missing people. The group NamUs is open to taking DNA samples from people who may be connected to that missing woman. If you have a tip in this case, Oak Ridge Police do want to hear from you.